seeing Simon here, explosive action, doing an explosive metal update. This is a metal record CD cassette update only. No movies this time. If that's not your thing, tune out now. But if you're here for the metal, let's go. Got three cassettes to start off with. This one is from Astriferous, uh, Costa Rican death metal band. Awesome cover on this one. This is put out by Desert Wasteland Productions. Um, a nice little blue shell cassette there. Really good stuff. Cosmic death metal. Really really heavy stuff um yeah the tape is kind of sold out but um blood harvest uh from sweden i think that's where they are uh had some so i was very lucky to get one and um yeah this has got uh two members of blood soaks necrovoid who are an awesome band as well so if you like them you'll like astriferous next one is the new ep from rotted uh, from might be California or something um, really good stuff again their debut album Pestilent Death is a fantastic album on Mag Maggot Stomp but um, and I've got the tape of it but the LP is bloody hard to find you can only get it from a company in Italy and it's too hard to get from them and their postage is disgusting and really hard to get um, but um, I've got the tape of it, and I've got the tape of the new EP, so that will do for now. Next demo is Frozen Soul, another American band, also on Maggot Stomp. Another Maggot Stomp band, by which I mean it sounds like Maggot Stomp bands. They are pretty good and reliable at putting out straight-ahead Neanderthal death metal. This is Frozen Soul with Encased in Ice. Great stuff. On to some CDs now, and the first one, compilation from Festaday. You can see the logo there, embossed and shiny. Um, this is the two-disc Complete Works CD from Svart, um, who also put out the um, Demolich compilation. Um, this and the next two I got from Svart on a sale. The three CDs, including shipping, cost $10 from Finland. Don't really know how they managed to do that, but anyway, this was like 90 pence, or 90 euro cents, or whatever it is. Uh, and it's excellent stuff. At least the first CD, I haven't listened to the second CD yet, but the first CD is their album from um, 92 or something, and the second disc is more demos. Um, really good stuff, if you like like Pertinence and uh, Demigod and bands like that, you will like this one. It is pretty damn awesome. Festa Day, the four stages of decomposition. Compilation, recommended. Another recommended one, Ripikulu, with the EP of Ulvaj, Ulvaja? I don't know. Again, it's Finnish, and it's Finnish death metal. Real dark stuff, bit death doomy. Um, and... Uh, yeah, this is pretty recommended. Uh, their album uh, is excellent from the early days again. But um, I think this is newer. Pretty sure this is actually modern stuff. I can't recall if this was uh, a reissued EP or if it's uh, a reformation and new material. But either way, it just continues on from where they were. Uh, and it's really good stuff. So Ripper Kulu, again, this was like, I don't know, like... 80 euro cents. The sale might still be on. Go check out Svart, S V A R T. And this one, also from Finland. This is Foreseen with Grave Danger. Um, this is Crossover Thrash. If you like, and uh, oh my god, the name has just escaped me. Um, yep, I've completely lost the name of what I was going to say. Um, anyway. I'm going to put it on the screen because it's going to kill me. Um, Power Trip. Thank you. Bloody hell, I knew I'd remember. Power Trip. If you like Power Trip, these guys were before Power Trip, as far as I know, and they sound pretty similar. It's that kind of crossover thrash, um, shouty vocals rather than um, thrashy or sung. You know, it's uh, it's really good stuff. Uh, the first album was called uh, Hillsinky Horror or something. Hillsinky Savagery. Um, and this is the second one, which is called Grave Danger. Highly recommended. Again, this was like 90 euro cents. 
Definitely go check that order, that site out, if they're still at the sale, because that stuff was bananas cheap. And the last CD is the uh, Dark Descent reissue of Xenomorph Imperial Regimes American Death Metal. This is um, kind of technical, but not flamboyant technical, if that makes sense. Um, from 1995, this is a reissue. Uh, as I said, from Dark Descent. The original is impossible to get and costs a lot of money. Um, but um, I got this reissue for a lazy $10 note in a trade, so I was very happy with that. Highly recommended stuff. Um, yep, yeah, check out Xenomorph Imperial Regimes. And now on to the vinyl. And the first ones are 7 inches. This is the EP from Void Terror, the uh, self-titled EP, American Band. Uh, this is some pretty good dark death metal. Um, I guess it's for sort of fans of uh, immolation, blood incantation, that kind of stuff. I think you will dig Void Terror. Um, it's a little little while old now. I think it's a couple of years um, on uh, MSUO the label, and uh, I finally picked it up. So happy to get Void Terror. Good stuff. And the new EP, brand new from Contaminated, split with Kudabara. Uh, both Melbourne bands um, Contaminated, I've got the full length album and it's just straight ahead really dirty, muddy death metal um, really good stuff, sort of the autopsy vibe um, and Kudabara were at least years ago a uh, gore grind band, I have no idea what this is going to be like it's called Funeral Erection so I'm assuming they're going to have stayed to the gore grind but um one song from each band, um, you can get this from uh, Contaminated, have a few copies. I think Kudabara have some copies too. It was like $13 shipped uh, from Melbourne, so a good price. Really happy to get the uh, debut album from Encoffinized, Chambers of Deprivation. Got this straight from Maggot Stomp, uh, which wasn't cheap, but I really had to get it. Um, they only sell it themselves. Um, and their shipping is, well, USPS. It's pretty bad. Um, but this is some quality stuff. It's like only like 24 minutes long. It's quite short for an album. Um, but it's uh, it's more, it's like a, a duh, duh version of Adversarial. Like it's really thick, dumb, knuckle dragging, but it has the sound of a band like Adversarial. Really good. Uh, highly recommended. The drums have got this pin to the snare that you would find on something like Metallica's Saint Anger, but here it doesn't drive you insane. It's actually really good. Good tight sound, and this guy is just a complete chick magnet. Unbelievable. Fantastic stuff. Uh, this is the black vinyl. There is a red, but I think that's sold out. Um, and I've got the tape as well, but I just had to get the LP because it's awesome. Uh, picked up again. This is a side grade or an upgrade, however you want to look at it. I've got the CD. Rude, which is a great name for a band, Rude, with the album Remnants. Um, awesome Dan Seagrave artwork here. Dan Seagrave having done Dismember and Entombed and Grave covers, all the classic Swedish stuff. Um, but I think these guys are American. And uh, yeah, they've got a real death vibe. Sound a lot like death, like the first two albums but doesn't sound like gruesome so you know gruesome are like a best of kind of band a homage but um rude really have their own sound it sounds like death but it sounds like a new death album if that makes sense good stuff uh really highly recommend remnants and the lp sounds great absolute monster of an album this infester to the depths of degradation I shouldn't need to say much about this one. Classic. I think it's from 94. Around about then. Um, they were absolute kids when they made this thing. This is an... Oh, just... Incredible. Incredible uh, dark. Super dark death metal band. Um, yeah, nobody sounds like Infesto. That's the thing. These guys made a sound. Their drummer is crazy. Just off the wall style um, amazing stuff they had the CD on Moribund back in the day um, which wasn't hard to get um, I think it gets a bit of money now but it wasn't hard to get for a long time and um, now there is a cassette reissue and this LP from Martyrdom 
I've heard some rumblings that this is not actually licensed. Um, can't really confirm that. It sounds and it looks good. So as far as I'm concerned, it's legit. Infesta to the depths of degrada in degradation. Super, super stuff. And uh, staying on the death metal train, some gooey ooze from new band Dipigus. What a great name, Dipigus. Love that artwork. It's just so crude. Fantastic. With their album Death Ooze. It sounds like it looks. It's autopsy stuff. Really, really good. Uh, strong material. Look at the song titles. Corpse Flower. I love that. So good. Gooey, slimy death metal from Dipigus. Um, who put this out? I can't even read that. I have no idea who put this out. Eh, doesn't matter. I got most of these LPs from Blood Harvest, so go check them out. Great Swedish company. Um, and reasonable prices. And when you hit their registered shipping maximum of 500 Swedish krona, I suppose, it doesn't seem to go up from there. So you just keep piling it on and it doesn't go up. Which is really good. Sorry for the reflection, but my um, sleeves are quite glary. Suffering Hour, the new EP, Dwell. Single-sided LP with an etching on the other side. It's one single song just called Dwell. This is impressive stuff. Pretty manic drumming. Um, again, it's got that real dark sound to it. Dark death metal is pretty much my my number one. That's what I always gravitate towards. If it sounds like immolation or incantation, that's kind of the style I like. Um, and that's where Suffering Hour, again, excels. Um, but with a bit of a Euro vibe to it. Really good stuff. Um, I don't have their debut, but the EP is good. Dwell. Tafos. Great cover. Not sure who did this one. Kind of looks like the guy that did Bell Witch. I wouldn't be surprised if it was one of his. Um... Yeah, I've only given this one a listen, one listen so far. Um, it's got a, it's like a darker version of Hyperdontia, I guess is how I've been looking at this. Um, really quite impressive. Uh, Come Ethereal Somberness. Great title, great album cover. Um, yeah, so far just the one listen through, but I was very happy with this, uh, Tafos. So uh, check it out, recommend. This one I haven't listened to, this was a freebie. Uh, the very nice people Blood Harvest put in the box. Um, I can't even remember what the hell this is because I can't read the logo, but the album is Serpent of Chaos and the band is what? Porta Demonium. Porta Demonium. Porsche Demonium? I don't know. I haven't listened to it. Uh, it wasn't part of my order, but they threw it in as a freebie, which is very nice. One of their own uh, Blood Harvest records releases. Um, yeah. No idea what I'm going to get in this, so that's a nice surprise. I'll check it out. I'm sure it'll be good. This is such a great basic cover. This is the demo on Wax from Cavern, C-A-V-U-R-N. God, I love that cover. It's just, it's so simple, but it's amazing. Um, these guys are going to go somewhere. They're going to go somewhere really rotting. But they've so far had this demo, and it was reissued on LP from tape and comes highly recommended. It sounds like this picture. I'm sure that makes sense. Uh, it just really does. It sounds like this. Looks how it looks. Highly recommend, Cavern. Check it out. So happy to get this one. It got reissued. Um, this is Paralysis, um, Patrons of the Dark, from like 90 four or five or something 92 oh my god i didn't realize it was that early um yeah early early death metal this is um one of those kind of forgotten albums uh i think they only did this one album and this reissue is uh i think there was a reissue in 2017 and this is maybe 2018 something like that bright green lp which is really cool but it's um still available this reissue you can get it quite cheap from uh, morbid generation i think is the yep morbid generation get it direct from them um yeah i recommend this one give them a spin paralysis patrons of the dark not need to say much about this one umgua mgla exercises in futility 
I think this is going back 2015 now. I don't think they've had anything since then. Um, it was my black metal album of that year. It is just unparalleled. They are a sensational band from Poland. Non Northern Heritage and No Solace. Black Wax, Black Cover, Black Metal. If you pick one thing from this update that you've never heard and are curious about, then I'm going to say it's got to be this one. Exercises in Futility is just riff after riff, proper black metal riffing, appropriate production, not sounding too raw, not sounding too polished. It's just how it should. Umgua, Exercises in Futility. Tremolo picking, bang. Got some classics as well. Oz, Fire in the Brain. Some dirty uh, sort of blackened speed metal early stuff. I think this is like 83 or 4, 83. Oz, really cool, good fun stuff. Doesn't take itself too seriously. $10 if you know who are, whose arm that is. Any idea? That is Quorthon from Bathory. That is his hand holding that skull for Oz. And uh, yep. It's a good, good solid album. I enjoyed it. From England, Onslaught, Power From Hell. Now, I knew this band from their second LP, The Force, which is excellent thrash, just straight up thrash metal from the UK. Before that, they did this thing, which I had never heard. I tripped over it in the shop. It says they're death metal. Yep, it pretty much is. They changed their style to The Force after this one. Uh, Power From Hell, it is pretty um, basic, but really dirty death metal in like uh, Slayer's first album kind of dirty sound. Really impressive. Um, the, uh, yeah, the art on that's good fun and uh, it's different to The Force, like I said, if, if you're expecting it to sound like that, you might be disappointed, but if you just like basic... Uh, early death metal sound then uh, check out Onslaught's Power From Hell it's good fun Omen this is great Warning of Danger gotta love that Cobra um, I can't remember where these guys are from I think they might be from the UK or Netherlands or something um, don't know a great deal about them I know uh, Extra the Mutilator is a fan of Omen and um Yep, he mentioned it, and then next week I just tripped over in a shop, which I've done a few times with his recommendations. So um, I think this is their second album. It's straight ahead heavy metal, but slight speed metal tinge to it. Um, recommended. I enjoyed it. And uh, the one before that is, and I love the cover on this, um, Battle Cry. Look at all that. Just cartoon drawings of war and violence and gore it's amazing omen battle cry and then the back cover these guys oh yeah look at this you got penny kenny powell on guitars jd kimball on lead vocals you've got jody henry on bass and the sex magnet himself steve wittig on drums can we just appreciate that for a second absolutely amazing <laughs> And the nice blasphemous back cover there too. Proper, straight ahead, heavy speed metal. It's fantastic. I really enjoyed it. Um, and this is the original press, as was the one before it, as was the Onslaught. Um, yep, I recommend it. Battle Cry, check it out if you like. Just straight ahead, 80s heavy metal. And speaking of straight ahead 80s heavy metal, but not being from the 80s, this came out this year. The Trapped Under Ice compilation, the new face of Canadian heavy metal. This is great. Um, I knew um, of uh, Traveller down there, and I've got their album, which is excellent. I'd heard of Spell, um, and I've heard of uh, Black Rat, who's sort of uh, black and speed metal. Everyone else is pretty much just straight ahead heavy metal or speed metal, and it's great fun. It's great to be able to buy a new compilation. And it looks like it's from the late 70s or something. Look at that. But these are all new bands. All new bands. Um, I recommend you pick it up and check it out. Definitely uh, Traveller is still my favourite. I, I love that band. Um, 
and this is on Temple of Mystery, and I was lucky to find it in an Australian store on the shelf, which saved me the import fee, um, and that's fantastic cover art too, which uh, reminds me of, I think it's uh, Protector, Protector's album. Pretty sure that's what that looks like. Anyway, that's Trapped Under Ice Volume 1, and that is this all metal update. That's the first time I've done an all metal update. Uh, let me know what you think of this kind of update. Is it of interest to you, or are you only here for the movies? Do let me know. I hope you enjoyed. See you next time.